What's up, y'all? This is Kevin of Shaking Crab. We're out here at the Mokley Courthouse today in Boston, and we're gonna be talking about food trends with Brittany DiCapua and Danielle Messler. So come shake with us in the wild. So welcome to Mokley Courthouse. We have Brittany DiCapua over here and Miss Danielle Messler over here. You know, we got a bunch of food in front of us. We have Shaking Crab's lobster roll, some mac and cheese, fried lobster tail, and to round it all out, snow crab and crawfish. You know, kind of like little baby lobsters because we're in Boston and all that. Seems fitting. Just want to talk about, you know, the food trends that are going on in Boston, kind of how we can connect the food to the community and, um, you know, how social media can really influence that. In my opinion, people aren't looking at Yelp anymore to see where they should eat. They're looking at Instagram. They're looking at people like Danielle and I to see, okay, what looks good on her feed? What looks crazy? What looks fun? Where should I go when I come visit Boston? I get messages almost every single day of, I'm coming to Boston for the weekend. Like, what are your top places that you want to go? Or I'm planning a bridal shower for my best friend. Like, what's like a really fancy brunch you can go to? It's really cool, the accessibility. Influencing is, is a newish term, and that's really what we are. We're influencing people to go visit certain restaurants. And really, I feel like restaurants put a lot of their faith in us to do the marketing for them. The holy grail would be to go viral with something mm -hmm. or just being able to connect with different types of people and creating a sense of oneness in the whole food industry in Boston. Yeah. Do you see a trend for why Southern cuisine is on the uprise right now? A lot of the restaurant owners I've talked to, um, like the Southern food where they grew up, mm -hmm. they're kind of paying respect to that. I think we're just trying to be more diverse in mm -hmm. what we offer, you know? We're known for our seafood. You know, you see these more ethnic, more diverse spots popping up as we grow as a city. Mm -hmm. I think it's awesome. But I feel like these restaurants that are popping up are like really authentic and like that's what they're really trying to do is like keep it as authentic as possible as if you were in that place. You had just seen the service and the mm -hmm. plate of food in front of you. How much of you know, knowing the background and talking to the people, how much does that affect, you know, what your perception is of the restaurant? I think it does impact it a little bit. It does. Yeah, because it's great to have the story um, and kind of get how they created this dish rather than just like, this dish is good and it's delicious, but like have, knowing that it's like something, comfort food for someone that they grew up with is awesome. People always tell me and they ask, you know, what sets the restaurant mm -hmm. apart? For me, I always just say heart. Mm -hmm. It makes me happy when I can talk to a restaurant owner who genuinely loves food um, and is passionate about what they're doing and has passion behind their creations. To me, that makes me like the restaurant more. Here you go. Can I get you a fork and knife? No, I'll keep it messy. Awesome. <laughs> keep it messy. Even better. I wish you could like cast the smell of this because it's so amazing. <laughs> Smellogram. That's going to happen someday and it's going to sure be awesome. Will. You can smell through Instagram. That's coming next. Yeah. yeah. 